but religious institutions should not spiritualize cases of sexual and domestic violence against the vulnerable as many perpetrators are hiding under the spiritual verses to commit this crime. This is a submission at a forum initiated by Spotlight Initiative engaging religious leaders to end all forms of violence against women, girls and boys. Correspondent Murpe Oluwa Shuremekun was there and now reports. Alleged misinterpretation of the scriptures by both Muslims and Christians has aided the prevalence of all forms of crimes against the female gender. The act of forgiveness preached to some of these faithful, especially when victims of sexual and domestic violence speak up, gives more strength to the perpetrators. Hence, the need to engage more religious organizations to join in the fight for an end to this crime. Any human being really is able to commit evil if they are, they, they, they are bent towards that. We see this community of religious um, groups, leaders, people that can engage religious leaders as a core community when it comes to tackling this menace of sexual and gender-based violence. If you look at the text, both the Quran and the, and the Bible, there is no way there that said you should enslave women. Even the one that is always mis misquoted in the, in the, in the Bible, uh, the woman should be submissive. There's a condition. They say, man, love your wife as Christ loved the church and died for it. Yes. I mean, if you love me, it is natural. However, religion is not the only buffer that tends to create a cover for gender abuse. Culture is another stimulant that needs to be properly handled. There must be order. We have God's order. You know, when we talk about order, people tend to think we are encouraging women being um, enslaved. No. It's just that there should be order the way you have order everywhere. To create equity, Islam also recognizes the importance of both sexes and that they can aspire to what they want to aspire to. God, the essence of religion is to promote morality, and morality is against violence, against crime. Why people thirst for a clear referral pathway for victims of sexual and domestic violence, religious institutions should take the issues of the pulpits and stop living in denial. Mondupo Oluwa, Shere Mekun, SV News.